Hello, my name is Andy. I'm with Simplex, and today we're going to talk about how to set your CSR on your PowerStar 110 load bank. First of all, I just have a drawing here. This is our main power coming in. The CSR is going to measure all currents of the six fans. And here we have the CSR coil. First of all, what you're going to do is plug the load bank in. Now, if we look at our CSR, we're going to start with everything set all the way down, zero. Do go to your controller and turn on the control power. We're going to give it a 15 seconds to run through our startup timer. By the way, we can see our light is on. We're going to turn our threshold until the light turns off. Go nice and slow. Right there, lights off. Okay, toggle it back and forth so you know exactly where it turns off. Okay, so for us, we can see that we're about 0.36 right on the line. I'm going to turn off control power. And what I'm going to do. I'm going to write down that number, 0.36. Now that's going to be our current with four fans. So what we're going to do from here is remove control power, and we're going to remove one of the fans from the control power circuit. So here, terminal lock one and two, that's going to be our hots. Three or four are going to be the neutral for the fans. I'm just going to remove one of the wires off of terminal block one. that back down. Let's plug the load bank back in. Back to our controller. We're going to turn control power on. Give it the 15 seconds to fully start up. Turn our threshold down until the light turns back on. Right there. Again, toggle a few times. Make sure you know where that point is. It looks like we're at 0.23. Turn off control power. I want to write that number down. 0.23. Now what we want to do is remove control power and find the range in between those two points to set the threshold. So remember I was at 0.36 with four fans and 0.23 with three fans. That's going to average out to 0.3 right there. Once that's set we can plug our fourth fan back in. Plug our load bank back in. We're going to turn on control power. on. I can go to my air screen on the, on the HMI. Cooling fans are okay. And what we're going to do from here is turn off control power and we're going to run it through it one more time without changing the settings on the CSR. Remove the control power. Remove that same wire you had. it back down. 
plug the load bank back in. Now this time we shouldn't see that light on the CSR turn on because we'll be in cooling failure. CSR here, we do have another setting. We're going to keep that at zero, it's lowest setting. So we'll plug in our last fan and we'll be ready to run the load bank. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel.